Hello, we're going to try a more complicated example of capacitors in series and parallel, as you can see here, um, where we have a combination of that. Now, this may look a little bit daunting, um, but what you need to do, um, and I'm going to write it out here, is you need to solve it uh, from the simple to the more complex. Um, so I would actually recommend to solve it inside out okay like the Pixar movie um, or start with the more simple and then go to the more complicated if you take it one step at a time uh, then you would actually find out it's actually doable it's actually digestible okay so let's take note what we're given here um, we're given the diagram in itself is a uh, given Okay, but also for part B, we're given a battery which adds a potential difference of 12 volts. Okay, and we're trying to find what is the charge. So first, actually find the equivalent capacitance of the entire circuit and the charge on the four microfarad capacitor and that's pretty much it because that will actually take up quite a bit of our time now I'm going to erase this because I'm going to use this diagram okay like I said we're going to start from the inside out and I'm going to flip back and forth now we're going to need our formulas and I'm going to write them in a generic way okay for capacitors in parallel, it's just simply C1 plus C2 plus dot dot dot, okay, to infinity. Uh, but capacitors in series, that's my symbol for series, um, it's the reciprocal of the sum of the reciprocals, if you see my other example. Okay, so let's start with the more easier one. I'm gonna try to use a different color each time. So for this and this, all you have to do really, since it's are in parallel, the current splits up here from there, here again, and then actually comes back here. Splits up here, and then comes back there, and actually comes back here again. Okay, so for these two, all you have to do is just add the capacitance and all these are in uh, units of microfarads I believe okay so this is all microfarads so starting with the bottom the equivalent capacitance of this entire thing is 6 plus 2 microfarads or simply 8 so it results in a much bigger net that should actually be 8.0 significant figures so this I have 1 and I have 3 so this adds up to another actually 4 microfarads okay so it's almost as if I could erase the lines here and now I have a new capacitor actually should be a bigger capacitor right that acts as four microfarads here a new capacitor adds as eight okay so let me start so this is eight actually I just realized now that they're both double but here's the thing now that they're in series it's going to be the sum of the reciprocal so this one we're going to actually have to solve so I'm going to divide this into top branch and bottom now we can start from the top or we can start from the bottom and then start over here okay so from the top The equivalent capacitance of the top is essentially 
1 over 4 plus 1 over 4. Okay, so that's cool because I know that's going to equal 2, 4. Okay, it actually just ends up being 1 half, right? And then the equivalent capacitance of the top. If I take the reciprocal of one half, it actually ends up being two microfarad. Once again, take note that it became smaller because it's in series. So the bottom will be the same thing. Um, will it be twice as small? Let's find out. I actually don't think so. But I could be wrong. Let's find out. And that's microfarad. That ends up being two, um, eight microfarad, one, four, um, and actually it ends up being four over one. So the C on the bottom actually ends up being twice as big. Look at that. Uh, than that, it's still smaller than the eight combined. Okay, so let's re-edit our lines here now. See where we're at. Okay, let me erase all that. And so now we've kind of eliminated these and that this entire branch acts as one big capacitor. Well, when I say big, it actually means small. Uh, this acts as a two microfarad capacitor and this acts as a four. Okay, but now take a look at that. They are back in parallel with each other. Okay, and if they're back in parallel with each other, then it ends up being the equivalent capacitance. I'm going to use black for this one. Is the C, the capacitance of the top branch, plus the capacitance on the bottom. Okay, do you see how it's simple when you split things up? And so it becomes this 2 plus 4, or simply, oops, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, six micro rats. Okay, so the equivalent capacitance is actually a pretty simple six. And if I, we apply a 12 volt battery that applies to both branches, so the 12 volt applies to the top and to the bottom branch is the same, uh, but the current is split, so the charge is split. So it's asking for what is the charge on the on this one right here. And it's not asking for the second or the ones in parallel on that top branch. So that actually makes it a little bit easier. Oops, oh, I was right over that. Okay. Q of the 4, take note that that is the equivalent capacitance times the delta V. Okay. So, V. Actually, it's not the equivalent capacitance, it's actually the one in the 4. So we need to know how much uh, charge is on there first. So that's going to be 2.0 microfarad. So we're finding the voltage drop, my bad, of the across the 4.0 microfarad. 
capacitor. And so the charge that gets split up into it, it takes actually a smaller chunk of the charge. Not solely for the total, just that. Then from here, I can find the potential voltage drop on the floor because even though the top branch gets 12, but this 12 is distributed to that and to that differently. Okay? Now that I know the charge on the. See, it's green for some reason. On that capacitor, I can solve for the potential difference across the four microfarad capacitor. And that's just going to be the charge that I just solved for divided by its capacitance. So once again, I have the micro suffix uh, prefix that I will cancel out, micro column, micro farad, and I get a potential difference or a voltage drop because the voltage drops across this specific electronic component capacitor. 6.0 volts. Okay. So of the 12 volts that was applied, uh, six of it is being used up by that capacitor. Okay. Now hopefully you didn't get lost uh, like I did um, through the second part, but the first part, uh, if you can see how to break it down from the inside out and then taking it one byte at a time, you can actually tackle a large complicated circuits. Okay? Cool. Um, take note and hope you all enjoyed. Ciao.